only reason why there isn't this like rush to declare like he's fully in lame duck status is number one he's fully relevant with these budget debates and number two the republicans are figuring out a way to hand the momentum back hand the political momentum back to him that's fun uh, apparently in the mainstream media they were already having a discussion about calling Obama's presidency he's gonna be a lame duck with three years left now look that's partly the media saying oh no, no Democrats shut up shut up shut up you're not allowed to do anything shut up no 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 that's it you won the election who gives a shit you're a lame duck lame duck you're useless okay it's partly the president's fault because he acts like a lame duck what's his bold new proposals almost nothing almost nothing it's like, man, I already got Obamacare, man. I'm just going to rest on my laurels for the rest of the time. Oh, I tried gun control once, man. We, that didn't work. I don't want to get embarrassed again. I'm not going to try that. Immigration reform? I mean, I'll try to help the Republican Party with, by passing that uh, so that, you know, they won't seem as racist to Latinos. Kind of. What else you got? So apparently they were already going to call his presidency until this happened, and the Republicans save him by bringing him back into relevancy by being such obstinate pricks not by actually doing anything or passing any laws but by not passing anything so the president could be relevant by maintaining the status quo well isn't that exactly what president obama was elected to do by the people who funded him just maintain the status quo okay know your role so now Todd's, uh, chuck todd's not done yet one more interesting note here I think they would turn that around and say the Senate, the cynical approach is the one being uh, done by the Republicans. The White House says, hey, we went through this in 2011, we went through this in 2012, and they feel as if they, they did blink, they caved when they have to cave, uh, and in their minds, they believe the House Republicans have never given an inch on anything, that it's always been this to the brink atmosphere. You know, isn't that amazing? Did you hear what he just said? President Obama is basically, his administration is, bragging to the press about how they caved before. Remember how you, I used to say they caved in and Obama supporters would get so mad? You can't say that about our beloved president. How dare you use words like that and say he caved in? Well, guess what? Apparently, your beloved president agrees with me and is bragging about it. Ha, remember when I caved in over and over again in my first term? Well, so it must not be my fault. Well, no, actually, it is your fault. Not only for not standing up to progressive ideals and not standing up to the opposition party, but it's also your fault for encouraging them. You know what somebody happen, What uh, somebody does when they're in negotiations and the other side constantly caves in? It's harder to make a deal because the other side rationally thinks, well, let me keep going. There's no end to how much this guy will cave in. If I keep insisting... Uh, he will probably do as he did in the past, give me more and more, in fact, more than I even expected. So is it really that irrational for the Republicans to think, maybe he'll even defund his own Obamacare? This guy is so historically weak in negotiations and brags about it, he might just do it. Now, I don't think he will. I think they misunderstand President Obama. It's all about his own glory. So this would be counter to that point. If he thought that it would earn him any kind of credibility in Washington, like a pat on the back, like, way to be a compromiser, yes, then he would do it in a second. But this will, of course, have the opposite effect. So there's no way in the world President Obama is going to touch anything that would go towards his so-called accomplishments.